One evening as the... Okay. Today's video is going to be on making a smoker in the wild or in the woods with improvised materials, both natural and man-made. So what we've got going first, we got our fire started building our coals up for us. Next, I built a tripod using lashings from the rest of the bush class, simple lashings, and here I've improvised it uh, with some speaker wire we found out here where, where we're camping. So got got the tripod set up. You don't want it to be massive. It could even be a lot smaller than this. Uh, I just wanted to show a, a scale. Next, we put on the the cross pieces. So basically, I've only put two levels on today. I'm not going to do a whole lot of meat, but uh, here I just used some snare wire and lashed them around. So nothing groundbreaking, pretty simple. Now the next step is uh, how we're going to trap the smoke in it. I've got both cottonwood bark as well as emergency blanket and a canvas mess that I'll show. Uh, how I've used all of them in the past and they've all worked really out really well. So, so the next thing is to get our meat put onto the sticks. So I've got some meat marinating here. You don't have to marinate it, but I, since I'm going to do it, it, it helps it taste better anyway. And my marinade is simply uh, Kinkamon soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, um, and uh, various spices and some water to enough to cover the meat. And that's uh, marinated for a day. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those and feed them onto these sticks and my camera assistant. Here he is. Hold the camera. Now, nothing, nothing groundbreaking here. If you can, you can just drape it over. And then you have the meat touching itself. So we're going to feed it onto the stick. And ideally you want the, lean, the leanest cut of meat you can get. Uh, I should have trimmed this fat off, but I was in a little bit of a hurry. So, we will get these ready to go. Basically, just lay them on here like this. Make sure they're spaced out. Now, the other thing you can do, instead of putting all these cross pieces in, is you can just put snare wire around it, but to, to uh, conserve snare wire, I've just gone ahead and used it that way, but I'll show that as well. And the nice thing with the snare wire method is then you can just thread it through. Like a needle. And then you can take it Can you see it, camera guy? Yes. Take it like that. And then you can zigzag it back and forth and put more meat on there. So we'll get that all done up and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, I've got most of the meat on there. Uh, obviously my, the tripod I built is bigger than what I needed. Thought I needed a little bigger, but I guess not. Uh, I apologize for the sound earlier. Uh, my camera isn't the greatest, but well, you'll have to deal with it. So I got the meat on there, and if you look at it here, I've got it fairly well spaced so that it's not overlapping itself. And it'll happen once in a while, but anywhere where it overlaps, it'll take longer. But uh, so make sure you space it in there pretty well. You want the air to flow through it fairly well. Now, to get down to it here, uh, what I'm going to do next is put a bed of coals underneath here. You want coals, not a flame. Uh, I'm not trying to cook it. We're trying to smoke it. So that's why the fire is 
as close as it is to the smoker itself here so I'll get that going and then uh, we'll show you how I go about covering the outside Camera recording again. okay you have to bear with me on the sound here but I got it set up and then we're I'm gonna go ahead and take the cottonwood bark and put it up around it and you want to I do it with the barks the bark outside out because the inside can catch fire quicker so I'll go ahead and do that Yeah, as you can see, I haven't completely coated it, and basically to give you the idea of what I've got going on, if I was only going to use natural materials, I would cover it completely, probably make it a lot smaller, and uh, also use dirt and mud to help fill in and so it was more uh, airtight. You can do this without covering it at all. It takes a lot longer and you can get more insects and, and whatnot that'll get on your food but uh, this is the way I do it there are other ways to do it to go ahead and do your own research if you like this is how I do it so the next thing I'm gonna do then so I'm gonna use my emergency blanket you could also use a mess uh, normal nylon tarp any kind of material to cover it and the thing you want to do there though is to ensure that you either wet the fabric first or that you dual diligence make sure that the fire that the coals don't flame up and catch it on fire uh, ask Terry Barney about that so here we'll go ahead and show you uh, the space blankets make a really good one because of the reflective that kind of helps hold the heat in there show you what we got going on here now see basically I've got it covered I've got it so it'll draft from the bottom and I left a hole at the top so the smoke will come out and then on this side I left it open so that I can take my coals from the fire and build them under there and then after I put the coals on it 
I'm going to put some wet wood chips and I happen to be using apricot today is what I got. But hickory or any of the fruit type wood seems to work pretty well. Mesquite, stuff like that. Uh, do you want to stay away from pines and cedars? Anything with resins or uh, sap in it? Because as that will impart that flavor to your food and it tastes like crap. So we'll get that going and then we'll check back in. So here we go, I got the coals in here, we got it closed up. You can see the smoke coming out the top hole here. Kind of went around the bottom on the outside and closed it up except one hole in the back. And uh, I've got the coals going in there pretty good. Uh, as you can see it's starting to flame up a little bit. You want to kind of keep uh, a cup of water or something so you can tend that and not burn your uh, your meat or your tarp or anything down so uh, sorry move I'm, I'm about standing in my fire here um, I'm just using some apricot wood like I said it's been soaked and that's what this chunk is here but I just uh, put it on the coals and let it go and as you can see I got the meat going in there and uh, this will take quite some time, you know, I'm camping, you know, I ain't, don't got much else to do. But uh, we got that going and then we got got some cooking over here. So uh, we'll get back to you in a couple hours and let you know how this is going. Well, it's been going for a couple hours now. I kind of lost track of time. I'm not sure how long because I still got my other fire going, you know, I'm camping and the moon's out in full force and the kids over in the tent which is hard to see over there anyway <clears throat> as you can see it's going in here pretty good still and some of the pieces are starting to to look better I mean there it's hard to see here uh, I'll include some photos but overall they're doing pretty good coming right along <clears throat> starting to get firm and dry but uh, we'll let them go for a couple more hours probably and go and if any of you are like me you have to sample it as you go so you may you may not have any left by the time you're done but okay we'll check back in thanks okay uh, I'm gonna call her done as you can see most of it's pretty dry it's hard to tell dark out but it uh wasn't quite dry dry but it's just how I like it and I'll now I'll take it off of here and then I can munch away it's hard to tell it but mm. delicious so there you have it um like I said there's lots of variations of this have fun with it it's supposed to be a, f a fun elective and uh, you know there's, there's all kinds of recipes out there on different items you know different marinades and different ways to cook it and uh, obviously the, it'll take longer the thicker you cut it um, you know I've done a chicken this way I, I'd like to do a turkey someday we'll see anyway thanks have fun with your bush class assignment